went pretty well. I am getting more adapted to the volume now, starting to feel like my old self again, finally. I hit some really good snatches yesterday and got a lot of good work in on clean and jerk. I am hoping to break down my clean a bit more today and keep working on faster turnover. My elbows were spinning super slow yesterday, even though I was feeling stronger in my clean. That's just, the catch still is not efficient enough for the big weights that I want to lift. <laughs> So I'm going to try to work on that some today, maybe get in some RDLs and squats. Thursday, I ended up hitting a 6 rep front squat PR at 100, so I'm really pumped about that. My leg strength is finally showing some signs of improving since I hurt my hip, so that's a huge plus for me right now. My body is holding up pretty well. This is my third week getting back into high volume, starting training for nationals. 
about seven weeks out now. My hip is holding up pretty well through all of these clean reps, which is good. I'm very uh, happy with how that progress is coming along. It still hurts a little bit, but nothing too crazy. And um, my body in general feels pretty good. I'm very fatigued and tired, but nothing is hurting too bad. Just the usual aches and pains that come with weightlifting. And I'm excited to be getting better. Do you feel, do you feel it? Really pleased with how the technique work went with Max today on my cleans. I stayed really light the whole time and really focused in on drilling the correct pulling positions for my clean. Uh, with only doing power cleans for a while while my hip was injured, still kind of recovering from that labrum tear. And um, just a lot of coaching changes throughout my career. I've heard a lot of kind of mixed messages on very tiny details, but it still kind of matters when you're at this level, the smallest thing can throw off the whole lift. So today Max was like really trying to explain exactly how he wants my clean pull. And towards the end it was really clicking and starting to feel more comfortable once I was hitting the positions at the right time that he wanted. So it was more so that I am um, doing the same thing but with a little bit different timing trying to not scoop my knees under as soon and not let my hips drop back under the barbell that was the main thing I was working on today so pushing the knees back and then bringing my hips to the bar without letting them sink back down which is a pretty complicated concept but also something very beginner that maybe I just didn't learn correctly the first time or I didn't get it like nailed down before I moved up in weight so I feel good about what we worked on today. I am totally not against breaking things down and treating myself as a beginner when I need to fix things in my technique and I think that's a good lesson for everyone to never be too cool to go back and take it to the beginner drills. That's what I did today with 35 kilos over and over and over. Just drilling the correct position so don't be scared to take it back to basics when things are feeling a bit off um, people at my level do it I see Courtney do it in the gym too she's been lifting for nine years now I think and she takes it back to basics sometimes too when things aren't clicking it's always a good idea to return to the roots of the lifts when things aren't feeling super solid so I'm hoping to carry that over into my clean workouts next week and I'm going to be incorporating more of those drills into my daily warm-up right now until I feel that I'm hitting those positions and hitting that good timing all the time.
be sure and subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys liked this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.